This is Chris, recording for Magic Gathering Strat. Our round three opponent is R. Rico. So we'll scope him out. No player found. Um, this looks like a pretty solid hand. I am not going to mulligan. It does have a pretty big drawback in that this quicksand is a quicksand and not an island. How more depths? He's leading off with that. I wonder what he's playing. Hmm. Let's see. So, I want to view round two. I want to see what he is playing. Are we go? No. Okay. <clears throat> He's leaving off with the Halmar Depths, which is pretty odd, but uh, not completely unheard of. Let's get a Delver out there. I was going to lead off with the Phantasmal Bear, but Delver seems like a much more solid lead off. So that's how we'll lead. Next turn we have Spell Setter Protection. Uh, he has his own Delver. And another Delver. Um, so, hmm. This begs the question. Do I want to Piracy Charm his Delver? <clears throat> I will reveal the Uno's Grace. Um... I do think I want to uh, Piracy Charm his Delver. <clears throat> One of them. Not going to get a much better target than that. Leaving up Quicksand Protection for um, a Ninja. And we're going to beat down with Delver. We're going to yield to his Delver, and he reveals a Prohibit. So actually, I think he's a, a mono blue control based on his Prohibit. <clears throat> or a blue black control, that's interesting. Hmm. He is returning the beatdowns, which is interesting. Uh, okay, so, hmm, here he has a Prohibit in hand. Um, so pretty much anything I cast is not going to get through. So we're just going to continue the beatdowns. It's unfortunate that I'm missing these land drops. Um, so it put me in a much better position. Especially now if he decides to kill my Delver, which he does. Uh, okay. That kind of stinks. So at this point, I'm going to um, spell start at the end of his turn. We'll see if it gets prohibited. My guess is it will. No, it did not. Okay, so the ninja's coming in. Because at this point, I have to do something. I will lose this race. And I need lands. Cannot function without lands. And I have four ninjas in hand. That's sort of uh, unfortunate. The ninja connected. That's good. And there's an island. We'll cast a phantasmal bear. Get some more pressure on him. Make him use that prohibit. And he will. So I know he no longer has a prohibit, prohibit in hand. But I now have an active ninja on the board. And he's still coming in with a Delver. That's pretty interesting. I wonder if he just doesn't have any other plays. Nope, well, it looks like he has a play. Chittering Rats. Okay. Hmm, that's unfortunate. I'm putting Numa's Grace on top. Um, I will make the trade. I don't want him, like, flickering his chittering rats or something. 
Yep. At the end of his turn, I will Una's Grace. Will I Una's Grace or will I Spell Stutter again? I think I'm going to Spell Stutter again, actually. Spell Stutter gets through, and it's possible. No, I'm not getting killed. That's good. Uh, drew another land, also good. And let's get this ninja in here again. I drew another spell stutter. Um, so we're both on three turn clocks here, which is uh, the onus is on him to do something. He's still coming in with the Delver. Um, believe it or not, this is actually not looking good for me. Augur of Skulls. That sucks. Okay. Okay. I get another spell stutter out there. So I can ninja again. And again, and again. No, nope. this one's getting countered. Okay. Um, let's get in there with the ninja. He's gonna block. Okay, good. Good. That's actually sort of what I wanted him to do. Um. It's going to bear out and a spire golem. Um, probably should have played the spire golem there first to avoid days. I don't know if he runs it. He doesn't have a list, so I am pulling up this uh, toolbar thingy so that I can see where we are on time. Seven minutes. Pondering. Okay, ponder is okay. Not that I have a choice now. But ponder is okay. And the onus is still on him to do something. I have a, I have a better board presence at the moment. Mole Drifter with Evoke, okay. Which leads me to believe that he's, uh, oh, ouch. Undying Evil on the Mole Drifter. Big owie. Alright, so... What do we do about that? Uh, I can still get in for 2 damage. Um, and have a ninja. Let's um, play an island. I really kind of need a snap here. Hmm... Get in for two. Hmm. This is rough. Um, Alright. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to dig for a snap. I did not get a snap. I got a gush, though. <clears throat> nope, nothing. Bunch of duds. Okay, so let's see here. He cannot attack yet. He does have a. The Mold Drifter grabbed him a full grip of cards. This Delver's coming in. Just the Delver. Alright. <clears throat> well, 
and I'm back. He sacrificed his Delver to my Spire Golem, which leads me to believe that he has a tragic slip or something of that sort. Which will, of course, get spell centered. And the spell starter went through. <clears throat> Pretty sweet. Of course, now he has another mole drifter. Arg. Okay. Not dead yet. Uh, Cloud of Fairies begs to differ, though. Okay, so what we're going to do... Two things are getting through. My guess is those two things would be a Phantasmal Baron Spell Starter Sprite. Um, the ninja would come through. I lose a ninja. I gain a Cloud of Fairies. Um, I'm not dead in the air. Hmm. Okay. So we're going to attack. He pretty much has to block a ninja and a bear. Or a spire golem. The bear is probably the better bet, though. Um, we're going to ninja a spell stutter. Play a cloud of fairies. And then we have a spell stutter as an additional blocker next turn. Mull drifter blocks ninja. Expected. Mole Drifter block blocks Spell Stutter Sprite. Not expected. Uh, okay, did I play a land? I did play a land, so we're going to... Uh, ninja the... Phantasmal Bear. Okay. My ninja gets through. Always yes. Always yield. Um, I drew a Brainstorm. Not really what I wanted, but hmm. I do have another turn to do something. Question is, what do I want to do? Uh, do I want to brainstorm and play a bear and make him answer? Is that the best play? I think it is. Um, okay, brainstorm. Uh, whew, God, I wish that snap had come like two turns before. Bear, and I have a snap to squeeze through my last points of damage. Well, let's just hope he doesn't have a, some kind of finisher to take away the last bit of life. He's pondering, trying to draw into answers, I think. I hope. Put this thing at the top. Show according to where. <clears throat> and I win. Alright, sideboarding. Let's see here. I have no idea really what I'm up against. I do know that he has he's running quite a bit of removal, so I think Stormbound got by Geist is good. Um so what's bad? Um He's playing a Delver deck, so Piracy Charms actually seem pretty good. Um, snaps are not as good. Hmm. He's playing a Delver deck, so serrated arrows instead of instead of a snap, and. I'm going to round it out and take out a Stormbound Geist. I think this is what I'm going to go with. I don't know if it's right because I've never seen this deck. So, um, yeah.
maybe serrated arrows are wrong, but they seem like they would be pretty good, I think. He's playing Mole Drifters. Don't, you know, I'm really, I'm not going to play a serrated arrow whenever the Mole Drifter threat is coming next turn. Um, I could do a snake form to make his trades less profitable if he decides to trade. I think that's what I'll do. Snake form can save a ninja. Uh, Serrated Arrows does reset Stormbound guys though. Uh, I think I'm gonna just go with this. <clears throat> so we're on to game two from our opponent, R. Rico, who is playing a blue-black control deck of some sorts. It looks very similar to uh, Trinket Control without the trinkets. So this is an obvious keep. I have two counter spells, two Delvers, and a Piracy Charm. Looks like I'm pretty set. Mm -hmm. He has no turn one play, which is going to mean I'm playing a Delver. Mm -hmm. Delver resolves, perhaps unsurprisingly. So what's his play? Does he kill my Delver? Does he? Does he? Does he? I think he does. I think he should, if he can. And he does. Okay. Uh, let's get another Delver out there, then. Not really worried about his turn 3 play. Because it's not a Mole Drifter. And maybe this Delver will live. It does not. This Delver gets snuffed out. Not great, but... Um, Cloud of Fairies. Seems like a pretty good ninja target to me. He's going to counter it. Okay. That's unfortunate. Um, okay, we'll see if he hits his land drop this time. If he does not hit a land drop, then um, it's going to be Piracy Charm time. I'm going to make him discard a card. He does hit a land drop. What does he hit? A ninja. A ninja! Okay. That's rather unfortunate. Um, hmm. Okay. Okay. Brainstorm. Uh, okay, good. Good, good, good. So I get a Cloud of Fairies, uh, another Brainstorm. So the Ninja's going on top, the Brainstorm's going on top of that, and Cloud of Fairies comes out to play. He will get to uh, draw a card off his Ninja. Or actually, no, I'm going to Piracy Charm his Ninja. Give it plus two, minus one. And then block it with the Cloud of Fairies. I'll get, I'll get two for one that way, but it happens. Going to dispel. Hmm. No. I'm going to catch all that. His threat has been dispatched of. Brainstorm again. Uh, I get a spell stutter and a ninja. So, should I play an island? I did not play an island. So it's got to be, I think it's got to be, uh, man, I don't, I don't think it matters, actually, <clears throat> so I'm going to go Island Ninja, I'll Counterspell, Mole Drifter, I'll Spell Set or anything else.
And here comes the mole. Oh, chittering rats. Uh, I can't let that through. Sorry. There's my ninja. He has one card in hand. I just hope it's not a mole drifter. Pray it's not a mole drifter. Nope. Does not look like it's a mole drifter. Good. So we'll throw the spell stutter spread out there because it's going to get ninja. Um, going to attack. And we will throw the ninja out. Always yes, always yield. Uh, and I draw a Delver. Hmm. Get out there, Delver. Do some work. Do God's work. Unfortunately for me, I know he knows that I have a spell stutter in hand. Unfortunately for him, I think um, Ninja is just going to run away with the game here. And I do want to reveal the Una's Grace. And we will attack. Get in there, Ninja. And I've got some discard fodder for my Una's Grace. <clears throat> so now, here's the Mole Drifter, I assume. Yep. Uh, so let's hope that I can draw a uh, hard counter. I did not. We will try again. Because it's so important to have that hard counter. And I did not. Okay. The hard counter did not happen. Unfortunately. There's another chittering rat. Why do people play that card? Oh, it's a nightmare. Nightmare! I'll put an island on top. Hmm. So I think I'm going to... I'm going to throw a spell stutter out. I want to ninja my spell stutter. And I'm going to beat in with everything. I cannot let him have extra cards. I cannot let him flicker his mole drifter or undying evil his mole drifter. <clears throat> Rats, Delver. Yep, pretty much expected that. Uh, ninja on the spell stutter. Always yes. Always yield. Still have not drawn a hard counter, so let's just hope he did not draw another mole drifter. Oh no, he did, I think. Oh no. Augur. 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 What do we think about Augur? Uh, Augur's fine. Augur's not doing anything for you. Oh, he's going to block my ninja, I guess. I don't want a spell stutter here. Hmm. Very interesting. Uh, I think I do. I need, some... I need to keep him on a clock. And Ninja's not getting through, but that'll be okay. So, hmm. I think I'm going to gush here. I don't know what I'm hoping for, but I'm going to gush. And drew another spell stutter. Yes. <clears throat> we have lots of islands to discard to his auger. Yep. I'm gonna make him use the mana. Yeah, I don't know what I'm hoping for for that gushing there. Maybe just a hard freaking counter for his mole drifters. His endless stream of mole drifters. Okay, where's my Una's Grace? Click. To me. Pay two. 
Uh, discard an island. I don't need islands. I drew a brainstorm. Sweet. <laughs> okay. Beat down. Get in there, ninja and fairy. Yep, once again, making him use the mana. Uh, he undying evil, so I'm going to have to counter that. Okay, so spell stutter on the undying evil. Sort of unfortunate, but I cannot let his uh, auger undie, as it were. And this will put him on a bit faster of a clock. He's pondering, which is... Uh, no, I'm not going to let that happen. I cannot let a ponder happen. Because if he ponders into a mull drifter, then I'm just... Oof. So he's on a two-turn clock, and he is... Nope, he decided he cannot possibly get out of it. And this is... See, this is Chris for Magic Gathering Strat. Thank you for watching.